Welcome to our Maths Teacher YouTube channel. Today you are going to learn about the first and the second lessons of the unit indices. The first lesson Products of powers with the same base. Consider the product of 2 to the power 2 and 2 to the power 3. You can write this by expanding. 2 to the power 2 means 2 is repeatedly multiplied 2 times. So it can be written as 2 into 2. 2 to the power 3 means 2 is repeatedly multiplied 3 times. So it can be written as 2 into 2 into 2. Therefore, when multiplying the powers, 2 to the power 2 and 2 to the power 3, 2 is repeatedly multiplied 5 times. It can be written as a power, that is 2 to the power 5. So, 2 to the power 2 into 2 to the power 3 equals 2 to the power 5. This can be expressed as a law of indices. Thus, when multiplying powers with equal bases, their indices are added. That is, a to the power m into a to the power n equals a to the power m plus n. This law can be expressed to any number of powers. Let's see some examples. The first example, x to the power 4 into x to the power 3. In these two powers, you can see that their bases are equal. So, you can apply the law of indices you have learned just now. According to the law, their indices are added. That is, x to the power 4 plus 3. Then the answer is x to the power 7. The second example, p into p squared into P cube. In these three powers also, their bases are equal. So, you can add the indices. That is, P to the power 1 plus 2 plus 3. Then after simplifying, the answer is P to the power 6. Let's see another example. A to the power 3 into B to the power 2 into A into B. First, it's better to write the powers with the same base together as a to the power 3 into a into b squared into b. Now, you can see that in the first two terms, their bases are equal. So, you can add their indices. That is, a to the power 3 plus 1. In the last two terms also, their bases are equal. So, you can add their indices. That is, b to the power 2 plus 1. After simplified them, the answer is a to the power 4, b to the power 3. Let's consider another example. 3, x to the power 3 into 5, x to the power 2. Let's write it by expanding. 3 into x to the power 3 into 5 into x to the power 2. First, the numerals are written together. That is, 3 into 5 into x to the power 3 into x to the power 2. The product of 3 and 5 is 15. And you can see that in these two powers, their bases are equal. So, you can add their indices. That is, x to the power 3 plus 2. So, the answer is 15 x to the power 5. Another example, 2m into 3n squared into 2m cube into 2n. Let's write the terms of the powers with the same base together as 2m into 2m cube into 3n squared into 2n. Now write the numerals together, then the powers. 2 into 2 into 3 into 2 into m into m cube into n squared into n. Then get the product of the numerals. That is 
2 into 2, 4, 4 into 3, 12, 12 into 2, 24. And you can see that in these powers, their bases are equal. Consider the powers of m. That is m to the power 1 and m to the power 3. So you can apply the law of indices. That is m to the power 1 plus 3. As well as you can apply the law of indices you learned now for the last two terms. That is n to the power 2 plus 1. After simplified, the answer is 24 m to the power 4 n to the power 3. I think now you have understood the law of indices of multiplication. You are given a homework. Write answers for the exercise 12.1 in your textbook. Let's move to the second lesson of this unit, indices. Quotients of powers with the same base. Consider the division of the powers x to the power 4 by x to the power 2. It can be expressed as x to the power 4 over x to the power 2. Now write the numerator and the denominator by expanding and simplify. The numerator can be written as x into x into x into x. And the denominator can be written as x into x. You can see that x's get cancelled. Then x into x is left. It can be written as a power that is x to the power 2. Thus x to the power 4 over x to the power 2 equals x to the power 2. Here the answer is x to the power 2. That is called as the quotient. The answer is said to be as the quotient in divisions. Can you remember? Here the base of the quotient is x, which is the common base of the original two powers given. The index of it is the difference between the indices of the original powers given. This can be expressed as a law of indices. When dividing powers, with equal bases, their indices are subtracted. That is, a to the power m over a to the power n equals a to the power m minus n. Now, let's consider some examples. The first example, a to the power 3 into a to the power 2 over a. You can apply the law of indices you learnt in the previous lesson to simplify the Numerator. Let's remind it, when multiplying powers with equal bases, their indices are added. So, in these two powers, you can see that the bases are equal. Hence, their indices are added. That is, a to the power 3 plus 2. Then, after simplified, it becomes a to the power 5 over a. Here you can see that the powers with equal bases have to be divided. Hence, their indices are subtracted. And the same base is written. That is, a to the power 5 minus 1. So, the answer is a to the power 4. Now, let's consider another example. 4 x to the power 6 divide by 2 x to the power 4. It can be written as 4x to the power 6 over 2x to the power 4. You can see that both 4 and 2 can be divided by 2. 2 divided by 2, 1. 4 divided by 2, 2. So, it becomes 2x to the power 6 over x to the power 4. In these two powers, their bases are equal and you have to divide them. When dividing powers with equal bases, now we learn that their indices are subtracted. Hence, that is 2x to the power 6 minus 4. It is equal to 2x to the power 2. The third example, 3a squared into 2b cube over a into b squared. You can write this by expanding as 3 into 2 into a squared into 
b cube over a into b squared. Now get the product of these two numerals. That is 6. So 6 into a to the power 2 into b to the power 3 over a into b squared. You can see that there are powers with equal bases. So you can apply the law of indices of division. Then 6 a to the power 2 minus 1 into b to the power 3 minus 2. After simplified you can write 6 a to the power 1 b to the power 1. Since the indices of the powers of a and b are 1 it is not needed to write them. So it is written as 6ab. Let us consider another example. 6y squared into 10x cube over 2y into 5x. You can write this by expanding as 6 into 10 into y squared into x cube over 2y into 5x. There are common factors for both 6 and 2 as well as both 10 and 5. Then you can divide both 6 and 2 by 2. 2 divided by 2, 1. 6 divided by 2, 3. Both 10 and 5 can be divided by 5. 5 divided by 5, 1. 10 divided by 5, 2. Then get the product of 3 and 2. That is 6. So you can write 6 into y squared into x cube over y into x. Here also power, there are powers with equal bases. So you can apply the law of indices you learnt now. Then you can write 6 into y to the power 2 minus 1 into x to the power 3 minus 1. After simplified the answer is 6y x squared. I think now you have understood the law of indices of division. Now you are given a homework. Write answers for the exercise 12.2 in the textbook. I will be back in the next video lesson. Don't forget to subscribe us. Thank you.